Okay, this question is from iGooner14, and the question is, someone tell me more about the Uno Playmaker, which is a hundred, it's a hundred something dollar subscription for, for, for tracking, on-field tracking or, or something like that. Um, I can't speak to the, the benefits of the Uno Playmaker, but I can tell you this, I'm 10 years I'm 10 years from my last season playing D1 college soccer, and I'm 10 times the player I was from 10 years ago, right? After college, and I'll tell you, right, there are some simple tools that can take your son's game to the next level that I believe if you start using, then he will, he will, if he watches you use them, then a monkey see monkey do effect will happen because socially in his mind, he's saying, okay, if I see someone using it and I like either respect, trust or love them, then it's safe and it's okay for me to do it. And he might start doing it too. So I think the one tool that is really gonna improve his game passively, effortlessly is a, is a ball on a rope. It's a skills kick trainer. You, SKLZ solo kick trainer on Amazon or a sense ball. Um, there's some subtle differences, but long story short, a ball and a rope will allow him to improve the number of, allow him to get more touches on the ball. It's going to help him with ball striking, develop both his feet. It's going to improve timing, coordination, balance, rhythm. So for those reasons, I personally, I, you know, in college, they gave us a little widget that we would put in our shoe and we could track it or whatever, see how many miles we ran during the game. And it just didn't, there was, I just never, it just didn't, <laughs> I just wouldn't use it again, right? If I could choose between one Udo Playmaker and friggin' and a skills kick trainer, it's a no brainer. It's a no brainer. So, right, that's the first thing I want to recommend. The second thing is an RMT rope. Search RMT rope, David Weck. Um, this is a simple tool that's completely changed the quality of my movement. It's improve, it improves your juggling, your timing, your rhythm, coordination, balance. It ties into very much the kick trainer. It's just, you buy a rope and then you swing it around in different patterns using both your hands. And it's just, it'll grow your life rapidly as a soccer player. So this is something that, get, that again, if you master, then your son can pick up on it. But you can't just you can't just say here you can't just say here here's an RMT rope, master it. Or um, Andrew said you know this is great for soccer players. You have to master it. You have to master it because then this creates a social. Um, uh, it's like safe. It's like it's like the reason why restaurants who have crowds get more crowds because like a long line tells people at a food truck or a restaurant or something. It's like it's saying this is safe. It's safe to eat. Right. It goes back to like caveman days. So by using a ball on a rope and by using your skills, kick uh, 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 the RMT rope. What you're showing to your son is that these are some things that are that are safe to use, that they're socially, um, they're looked on positively. It's good. It, they're good things to do to make you better at soccer, and if you were to bring them out into the world, they would be um, they're solid. You want to use them for sure. Um, the, the close third, the close third would be investing in a, a 2.2 pound heavy ball, a medicine ball. You can get it on, um, them on Amazon for 30 bucks. But the whole concept is that when you're juggling, if you use smaller balls to improve precision and heavier balls to improve your power, then alternating between the light and the heavy is going to sharpen your touch. The sharper your touch, the more dangerous you're going to be on the field. So um, reach out, reach out with any questions. I hope some of these ideas help you move forward 
And um, I think another thing that you could actually do is you yourself, you want to improve your, your juggling because even if you're a really bad soccer player, if you spend one minute a day even on a hacky sack or a balloon, if you can get to a point when you could start to juggle, juggle with your son, that's going to unlock so much joy. I spent, me and my dad and even my mom too, uh, have spent thousands of hours traveling across the world playing soccer. And if either of them, either of my parents would have invested a few minutes a day in while I was growing up, even one minute a day to a point that we could both juggle a soccer ball together that would have increased our joy. You know, we could have warmed up before games. We could have cooled down together after games. We could just have fun at picnics and barbecues and whatever, vacation. So that's one thing that I want to encourage you personally to do. And I think it also help you, you know, get exercise and get moving and uh, feeling better. So reach out with any questions and uh, thanks for your time. All right.